I want to show you how a few of the most important color tools function in uh, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to use Adobe Illustrator to uh, illustrate, to sh well, haha, <laughs> to illustrate these, haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, just to show you these because uh, it's simpler, but uh, basically they, they work the same in Illustrator and in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you the hue, saturation, and brightness sliders, and also the color picker, and show you how you can use these to manipulate colors. So uh, I've just drawn three uh, rectangles here to, for purposes of illustration. What you need to do to get the hue, saturation, and brightness sliders, and you, this applies to both uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, go to Window, Color, and open up the color palette. So uh, make sure there's a check mark next to it so that it's opened. And you'll notice that right now it has listed R, G, and B as the R, G, B sliders, but I don't want that. I want hue, saturation, and brightness. So what I'm going to do is go over to this tiny little um, drop down arrow right over here and I'm going to slide this over so that you can see the drop-down menu on the right hand side. Notice that RGB is what's checked. Well, I'm going to select HSB for hue, saturation, and brightness. I'm just going to click on that and it changes those uh, the, those those sliders for me. So now I have a hue slider, a saturation slider, and a brightness slider. So let me show you what the hue slider does. I'm going to select this rectangle at the top. The hue slider will actually change the actual hue of the color. So it shifts the color from one color to another, basically going around the color wheel, the, um, the additive subtractive color wheel here. Um, so uh, this is how you can change the hue of a color, which is basically the color category um, of a color. That's what hue means. Um, now the saturation slider is kind of interesting. It's labeled as a saturation slider, but it doesn't just change the saturation. It actually also changes the value of the color. So notice that as I slide the color, slide the bar over, it actually lightens the color. Let me pick a different color so you can see this more clearly. I've got blue now and I'm going to slide and slide and slide and notice that it is not only uh, changing the saturation of this color but it is also changing the value of this color. So uh, the way I like to think about the saturation slider is it's kind of a combination of a tints slider and a, sh and a tones slider because it adds white to the color and it also adds gray to the color. So it kind of adds both and changes both variables. So you have to be careful of that. It's not just a saturation slider. It also changes the value. It lightens the value. So it's a combination of tints and tones. Now the next one I'm going to show you is the brightness slider and that's one down here. If I just drag the brightness slider around, notice that that is basically adding black to my color. So the brightness slider is a shades slider and it affects mostly the value. Of course, when you add black to a color, you are also affecting the saturation technically, um, but you can think of it as a bright, uh, a, a shade slider. So it's adding black. 